good day folks a little bit uh, overcast and rainy here today but regardless I'm heading out I'm not gonna go digging I'm going to pick up some bottles that I purchased from someone so anyways that's where I'm headed it's actually closer to the evening here right now 453 so I'm gonna head down and uh, load those up and then get back home and unload them and all that good stuff and this will be like an intro to well one of the videos for these bottles so all right well we'll see you guys in a bit good day youtubers hope everybody's doing well today and i hope everybody had a wonderful christmas thanks for joining me here i appreciate you taking the time to do so i got the old uh, clark griswold light show going on so check that out <laughs> Nearly went over budget on this one <laughs> trying to run with the big dogs, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, well, anyways, in this old video we got here, uh, this is the second uh, one for this lot of bottles. I did the first bunch uh, back there about a week and a half ago, and uh, this is the second half of those ones that I got at that time. So, <laughs> let's get into that. And the first matter of business, folks, on this wacky bottle digging channel is this bottle here, Legendario Elixir de Cuba. 34% alcohol, and that is mighty tasty. A buddy of mine brought that back for me from Cuba. And it's a nice bottle as well, you know, for a modern bottle. It's all embossed up down here, Legendario. Nice bottle. All right, now, on to other business. This year, something new has been added. Something from way out. It's the town car of the Munster family. And those TV favorites have come up with a gasser. It's a car not even Detroit could conceive. So the Munsters had it custom built to the tune of $20,000. But it gets only three miles to the Goulin according to Fred Gwynn and Al Lewis, who lurk behind all that makeup. They must be fine, clean-cut boys, though, to escort Santa Claus to town. Incidentally, they wish you a monstrously Merry Christmas. Okay, so, the moment we've all been waiting for. What is in the milk crate? Definitely not milk. First bottle is this Imperial Pint bottle. Nice blown bottle, and the top looks like it's, well, it's almost like it's applied, but it looks more like it was just kind of smushed down. <laughs> but uh, that's just a nice, nice old blown Imperial Pint bottle. Not a lot of color to it, but a little bit of color. Let's set it up, what do you think, here? That might be enough room. And next up we got, well, here's just another slick amber strap side bottle blown in a mold applied lip and the same as the last bunch of bottles from this lot i did not bother to clean them up i just left them the way they were and uh, if you didn't see the the first video i've sp spent about a buck a piece on these so let's see what else we got here this one almost looks like it's a bit of a manganese color Registered Beckett and Company, Callus, Maine. It's a soda bottle. And this uh, this guy's got a $10 price tag on this one. I bought these from a collector slash seller. And uh, apparently he thought that one was worth 10 bucks. So who might argue with him? I don't see a seam on that. Definitely an old bottle for sure. Next up, a Whitmore shoe polish. Nice color to that one. French gloss. Ooh la la. Blown in a mold, tooled lip. Another 
So we got a soda bottle. Allen's from Montreal. Nice crown top. Looks like a early machine made one. Had a tag on it, but uh, it's long gone. That's a nice bottle. A little bit of case wear on that one. I don't know if you can tell or not. Just trying to pit it up there a bit. Oh, what's this big one here? Ah, oh, Lydia E. Pankham's. Vegetable compound. Pretty common bottle. This one's really clean. Blown in a mold. And uh, this one's got a $25 price tag on it. Seems a little bit overpriced, but lovely color. Check out the blue down there. Around the heel of it. Yep. Nice example of a Liddy E. Pinkham's for sure. Set that up there. What else we got in here? There's one here. Little multi paneled one. Sharks Balsam. There was a couple of these, I think, in the a previous video of bottles from this batch. This is a nice example. This one's blown as well. It's getting near the end of the year, folks. Um, I might get, uh, I might post one more digging video for this year. I'll have to see, I guess. Time is running out. We got about five or six days left here. Here's uh, this one here. Windsor and Newton Limited, London. Got some sort of dragon or something up here too. It is a blown bottle with an applied lip. Unfortunately, I didn't do any research on these ones tonight. Just sort of gonna do the old show and tell, but more of the show part rather than the telling part. <laughs> This one here is a nice bottle. I like the looks of that. It's an Amber Silpho Nathal. He's got this one labeled 1890s to 1900. $10 on that. Blown in the mold bottle. Beautiful. Amber color. You guys ever seen one of those? I'm sure they're not rare, but I don't think I've seen an amber one before. Um, how about this big bowling pin shaped bottle? It's got a price tag on it. It was eight bucks. Hmm. A little rough. Neuralgic Anodyne. Twitchell Champlin and Company. And uh, he had a $10 price tag on this one. 1880 to 1890. I can see that. I've dug a couple of these this year. I always like the uh, style of the neck on these ones with that ring down around there just above the shoulder. Nice bottle. Check it out. Here's a big one here. What's this one here? Big Amber Boy. Cod liver oil. Feral. The iron oil food. Sounds delicious. 20 bucks on that one. Never heard of it. Nice bottle though. Blown in a mold. Tooled lip. Canada. Set that one back there. Yeah, we'll set that up here. There we go. I'm gonna switch these around. How's that? Okay. <laughs> What's this odd shaped one here? Uh, Pepto Mangan Gude. 
This one's machine made by the looks of it. It is a lovely color. Dug up a clear one earlier this year. This one's got a bit of a bluey hue to it. Nice bottle, nice shape. Um, here looks like a soda bottle. Almost looks like it's got a bit of a manganese color to it. Gold Seal. Trade Gold Seal Mark. I believe that's a Coca-Cola product. Property of the Coca-Cola Company. Yep. You can see it down here. Gold Seal. Nice soda bottle. It's in good condition too. Here's a common bottle. The Electric Oil. Always a beautiful blue color, these ones. And once again, you can see this puppy here is definitely not cleaned up. And it's blown in a mold with a tooled lip. There we go. So we got 15 down, folks, and we got 7 left to go. So what's next? This looks like a common one here. Ta-da! It's a case gin. Small version. And I'm trying to see if that's blown or machine made. I'm gonna, yeah, that's uh, definitely blown, yeah. Nice miniature blown one. With a K on the base. Hmm. There you go. Set that puppy right there. It's a good spot for that. Here's a, just a warranted flask. Blown in a mold. Nice little strap side bottle. They're always fun to find. Focus. Got another shoe polish. More Boston, USA. Blown in a mold. Where was the other one? Right back here. There's a different, little different example. Yep, two different ones. Both oldies. Here's another little bowl and pin shaped one. This one's marked 1880s. 40 buck price tag on that little blob top. Nice bottle, but no embossing on it. I don't know if I'd pay 40 bucks for it, but maybe that's what they're going for. One more here. Fraser Thornton and Company Limited, Cookshire, Quebec, Canada. Found one of these this year as well. Almost looks identical. This one's a $10 price tag, and he's got it labeled 1890s to 1900. Nice bottle. Got two bottles left. Ladies and gentlemen, well, this one is definitely manganese glass. I can see that. And this is another Beckett and Company soda bottle from Callis, Maine. Another crown top. Blown in a mold. You can see the seam ends right there, so it's a tooled top. Crown top. Where was that other one? This one here, I believe. Yeah, that's Beckett and Company. Two different Beckett and Companies. Interesting. Callus, Maine. And last but not least, a big old celery compound. And there's a tag on that too, and I believe that says $5. Which seems about right, because I think these were quite common bottle. It is uh, blown in a mold with a tooled lip. It's a little bit hazy there, too. But a nice, big, sturdy bottle just the same. And that's going to wrap this one up, folks. There they are. The end of this lot. Okay, so thanks for watching, folks. And uh, Merry Christmas to all, and all a good night. <laughs>
over and out. See you on the next one.